What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to series 2 of my City Skyline Let's Play series here on our new map. We're calling this one CT. Well, the reason it's called CT is because we're building by the sea. Haha, -ha, get it? Great hell. That was my wife's idea, but yeah, I think it's quite a cool name. Uh, this is our first square we unlock and what we're going to aim to do is get some bits down here in time so we have connections to the sea for our cargo. Again, we'll get the highway connections as well, so we're going to just first of all start with this. So first thing we need to do is build the first little bit of road. Delete that straight away so we unlock all the roads. Now let's build up, we can't do that one, up two nodes, whoa, that was not where we wanted to go. I don't know what is going on, I think it's this control I'm using to be honest, it's my son's, so. And then we'll go down here, boom, that's that one there. We'll get our large road. We'll move it just a bit away, probably up to this dot here. If we have a look, we've got to get it perfectly in, in line, like so. Build up to there as well. And in time, well, this will obviously be upgraded to highway roads and things like that. That works absolutely fine. We'll get our water. Again, we want inlets in one place, outlets in the other. So we can have our inlet over here by this river. That's going to work perfectly well there. How we can go there, and our outlet will do the eco one. I know it costs us a little bit more money, but again, that's what we want or what I want anyway. And I'll put that one in this river so they're separated. Hopefully, they stay separated, but that'll be good. Oh, and then we connect that like so. We'll leave that just like that for now. We'll get power as well. We definitely need to power these up separately. So if I put this one around about there, I'm going to put it as far away as I can. I think it would reach, and then we can stretch it for the uh, residential and the commercial in a minute so the first thing we've got to do as well is off this roundabout or off this roundabout off this highway is build a roundabout so let's go up two nodes let's choose a curved road I'm going to build the first node there and we'll go up until it hits 600 again the first we'll get the tip just to hit that and across to 600 tip 600 no rebuild that one. Tip 600 and a tip 600. That'll give us our nice roundabout. Then road wise we'll get a large road in again just to make sure that's connected up. We'll probably go for a straight road that would help. I want it in straight. There we go. Perfect. And now we've got to decide do we want industry over this side where we've got the farmland and everything like that or do we want it over this side. So let's have a zoom out of the area a second. So we're going to want to build residential down in this area, I think. But we've got a train station here, so that would be good for industry um, and everything like that. So maybe we start the industry on the left, the residential on the right. So industry to the left. We'll do that road like so. I don't want to do too big, but that there. And then our residential will build out from the opposite side. We can go out to here. And then we can actually get residential around that would work quite well we can then in the middle here build up two nodes so we can then get the shops in around there um so first of all for the industry we need to get some one-way roads in let me get some zones out and then i'll be back in a second okay guys so we've got this little bit zoned in or not zoned in but um roaded in now we need to quickly zone in the areas so we're going to want housing around this area to start with uh, I'm going to want to make sure this is where it zones in first and then we want it to hit here because otherwise the shops won't get any power so this is the only bit I'm going to zone in now f for that shop wise we're going to want to zone in again down here we want to literally just get this zoned in first I'm only literally doing a tiny bit at a time and then finally we want to zone in the industry there um, I'll show you quickly as well I've already put the water pipes in place to make sure we had that so now we're at $30 we might as well start the game loading up put it up to 3 speed and see when the citizens arrive right guys so here we actually have the citizens already building in so all the residential zone anyway that's building up perfectly yep and at the end that's where we needed it there so what we can actually do is get the fill tool and we can start filling in this little zone as well once the auto saves finished and we can even do that bottom bit there basically what we needed to do was get it so it would zone up to there power should be absolutely fine once they start building the industry there as well once we get the demand um, so yeah let's let this build in 
get some sims in and then we'll see how we go from there i'm looking forward to this new series as well guys i've got uh, quite a few ideas especially with this new map we've got some good things we can definitely do so first of all we've got obviously these our sims are moving in now at the beginning as well if you are new to the game do not worry so much about losing money you're going to at the beginning it is part of it but you can see now we've got our shop first shops in place so we can start expanding beside that we've got our first of the industry in place so we can again expand I'm not going to do that whole square again I'm going to get the select tool I think we're going to just choose from here across for now we just want to do small bits at a time again the less you have in place the easier it is to control like the electrics and things like that um, I don't want it built up to the very main road either when it does build in because I want to keep it as free as possible and we don't want too many junctions as well which is why if you have a look you can see I've built quite a far distance away from the roundabout so that's to give them you know room for when you know for the junctions and everything that's why we've got bigger junctions down here than in our residential zone again with commercial we're building up nicely now so we can actually probably get the fill tool and start just block filling those two so they can all build in that area and our residential zone is building in we've got our residents all coming in here now you see people walking um, wow well, we've got a lot of people actually moving in in one go look at that nice 250 odd people already I don't want to build all the way up to the roundabout so let's get the select tool I think maybe this will be the end of our residential zone there again same here we don't want to build right up to the roundabout uh, we can get the fill tool then for this separate bit there so here's our first residential zone it is building in it's a bit of a slope but you know I don't mind that they've got quite decent views a nice lake nearby as well palm trees some different that's been added we could lower this down and we could get some you know lakeside access to everything we have got our outlet water here so we do have to be careful and again our inlets over here by the industry which is building up quite nicely as well our shopping is building in as well perfectly we're starting to lose less money now so that's grid we're only losing 86 pounds a week and as soon as that gets to a decent level we'll start earning some money again it's going to start doing it soon by the looks of it and then once we're earning money we'll get out of the red at the negatives and then we'll be able to start zoning in more here we are we're already earning money so that's brilliant it didn't take long at all um, our residents are building in and once we can we've got to start then adding you know all this stuff like the waste and the schools we've not even unlocked any of this yet we've got to get 460 people before we unlock any of that 900 for this lot 2000 before we get transport um, and 1400 for that so it's just a case now of building up the city I do have to be careful because I'm used to playing on a world where I've got loads of money um, so now I've got nothing I've got to think carefully about what I'm spending money on and things like that we could possibly in time get a road going across here make it a residential road you know one way just out from the residential zone over to the shops again with footpaths and things as well but again we need to keep building up the money before we do any of that but we're getting people in the city the residential zone's building up nicely the industry they're complaining of workers but again we've got the people so that's just going to take time our shops we've got plenty of zoning for that as well I don't want to go too close to the highway because I want to enable us to be able to build roads there so maybe we can just do something like that we could even delete that one there just so when we do build the highway across or the roads across it won't cause too much issues um, industry wise zoning they've got plenty of zoning there for more industry when they want to add that we can even start adding some across the back part there again we'll leave two so we can build up we can even leave out these ones make it I think three will be a bit better we'll probably have to delete that one building there in time and again these will probably be upgraded to bigger roads in the future but for now I think it should work quite nicely we're earning 500, over 500 pound a week at the moment so that's good you can see we're coming at the negatives slowly our citizens are building up 440 odd so that is ideal so our residential demand is slowly you know just creeping up every now and then but because we've got it all zoned in and there we are straight away 460 happy days little hamlet we've got loans and taxes available garbage healthcare and education so we need to make sure we get all of this in place i'm going to leave it running because i don't want to have too many issues we definitely need to get garbage um, we've got a choice between the landfill site or the recycling center i think we're going to go for a landfill just for now just because it's so much cheaper and we're going to place this one right here so it's easily accessible for everybody 
we could get a loan out so we can start doing more stuff but let's think we need a health centre and we need schools so education wise we've got the elementary school for 10,000 or we've got the community school so the community school only allows you to have uh, 250 students the elementary is 300 so we definitely need to do the elementary instead I think we place this down here that'll give us a good coverage to the city health centre wise now we can do that so if we go to the economy we go to budgets or loans sorry we can take out a loan straight away we can up the budget straight away to 12 percent that's the magic number always go for 12 percent on all of this because it just helps with getting everything so we've now got 23 grand we can get a health centre in which again can go up the top here because there's good coverage complaining of electricity so we need to definitely increase our electric around here um, I'll add another wind turbine I don't like well I do like them I added loads last time but I don't want too many around just because it can cause issues so let's unpause again make sure that's okay so we just added the new power down here just to make sure we're all right there which we seem to be okay now um, let's just keep a think we've got our health center in place up here and we've got an elementary school down the bottom school wise we need to see when we unlock the high school um, reach a population of 1400 so that's fine we're nowhere near that yet and 900 and we'll unlock the police and fire services so we should probably think about increasing our roads and that down here so let's just pause a second I'm gonna come out like that so we don't actually delete any of the houses we've already got built we're gonna to have to delete one so let's build that way and delete that one and we need to then zone in some more around here let's keep it unpaused again we don't need to keep pausing it we're gonna build a nice long road down here and then we're going to get some of our one ways in fact let's put a two way in the middle just because it will give us a nice you know everybody the option to go up on that up, up and down wherever they need to go again we'll connect this we'll have to delete a few houses and that's just going to always happen at the start of building these cities we'll get a nice tariff, uh, we'll get a nice free form tool and build a nice road here we can even delete that and get that to curve in you know, a bit nicer like so because it's a nice bit of area here we can then get a one-way road or in fact we can just do a nice two-way we'll keep it straight again one there like so we should be able to connect up to there and then we can come out in the center here in fact I don't want to delete too many of those houses that will be built there um, we can build something like that and then we can come across like that that will work well gives us some zoning down there where we can build up we can then come down already there so we're ready to build this in when we need to we need to get water obviously connected into this area so first of all connect up that pipe we can connect just down like so I normally do this a lot neater but I think we can get away with doing it like that for this little area that's working perfectly we'll check this is all zoned in which it is one little house there's not quite got the water so again there we go my friend and then zoning wise we need to get the fill tool and we can fill in this start building around the back here I'm doing a lot of block filling at the beginning but it's just because it's a lot easier when doing this I would like to terraform this land but we can't do that so maybe if we build this they'll flatten down this area um, like so we'll just build a few there we don't want to do too many but getting these zones all ready so when we get the sims which we are getting now they'll be ready to build here we could even have a little bit of shopping down here so they don't have to travel so far but I want residential around the water if we get the large fill brush we'll be able to just paint the area like that a lot quicker get it in small and we can delete what we don't need here come on there we go and we can build again like so just to give us a bit of a nicer area there we'll build that one and that is building in very very nicely industry zoning again we've got some more demand for industry so we could even build you know there's a gap there which we want that for the road um, we can build a little bit there like that don't want to do too much industry at the beginning because again I'm not sure if we're going to keep dirty industry or if we're going to go for offices when we unlock that they're complaining now of power so we need to get another turbine in this time we don't have enough money six grand we're nearly there we're about to hit it it's fine we're going to get eight there so that's perfect so that'll give them the power they need so having them separate is a bit awkward but it will in the end be connected there are 900 a worthy village 
We can now unlock a new area, which I don't think we're going to do yet. We can do districts, we've got a second loan, and now we've got the emergency services, so the fire and the police, as well as the specialised industries. That is brilliant. And we've got self-sufficient buildings we can add, organic and local produce as well. New policies for water, fire and police stations. So let's pause a second. Let's go into our economy. Let's take out our loan. I think if we pay that one, take it out and retake that one. It gives us a little bit more money. 83 grand. I thank you very much. So we've already got all that. Let's go for a police and fire department. I think straight away we'll get them near the highway. So that will give a good coverage. And then firewise, again, same place, opposite. Gives a nice coverage to everywhere then. Um, we've got both of them in place. We'll check all this. That's all in place. That's all in place. And it was policies. So now we can actually add some policies to our area. So we can do all of this here we want as a residential zoning like so it's going to be a small one for now prospect district I'm not going to keep that name for definite we're going to change that probably go for something like Old Town because it's what I always called the original place anyway even though on the old city it was called Mill Park we'll call this one Old Town so we know this is the very first area we built in and it's also just a cool little name I like that one so that's Old Town we'll check our policies and stuff right so power uses, smoke detector, we don't need to worry about any of that for now and all the rest of it was not available as of yet so we've got it zoned in for when we want to change it let's unpause we could build a farming industry as well at some point we can build that right here and that would work quite well we could even get rid of some of this and build it here so it's right by the main industry itself but again I'm not too worried about doing that we've still got some more demand for housing and, sh and shops but they are building in as soon as they come um, we got the local organic produce we could actually make this a much nicer little area so we could have local organic stuff rather than them shipping stuff in or we could actually if you think about it zone down to the river like that that is in line no it's not but freeform tool again thank you very much get a nice curve there you can build in a little bit there. This could actually be for where we put a park when we unlock them in time. So if we get a straight road there. They're complaining again of more power so let's make sure we get another turbine in place. We're going through power like it's a commodity. There we go. Like that will be fine there. Um, let's zone in a little district here of our shopping. We just want to do a small bit here of local organic for now and in time this will obviously increase and grow and that but let's do that. Chestnut District, yeah, that'll be fine. And then we will do, if we include the right thing actually, district wise, local organic, thank you very much. And now when we zone this in, we're going to get some nice looking shops. So let's go for the fill tool again. And we can get them built right on the edge of the water. Hopefully they won't be stupid and build down too bad. But this should end up building us a nice little area there. A residential are building in perfectly well and in the right places so that's nice I do like that we could possibly move the power line in some point to there so let's actually delete that one still giving us power because of where it's connected I'll leave that for now as well um, but yeah this is our new city guys we've already hit two milestones we've got a nice little bit of industry not too much and again it's although it's polluting it's not overly bad you know it's what always happens when you start cities you've got to have some dirty industry we're going to try and keep this whole area uh, free of zones so we can maybe build like that and then if we need to in the end we will build there we do have the space in the next episode we could probably do some um, forestry up here and then farming down here and connect them up together that could work but I want residential down by the sea when we unlock this zone so let's have a look we have unlocked an area we could go here where we get trains but we don't really need the train connection straight away or we could go right to the sea which would be good it would give us connection to that but I think for now we've got enough zone we definitely don't need to worry about that garbage wise we're doing okay I don't think we need to worry about that either so this is our new CT hopefully you guys like it if you are new to the series or new to the channel drop a sub drop a follow and yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying it and we'll come back and check out more of this let's zone in a little bit more down here for the residential I think we'll go to about 
there. We don't want to go too big. We go to here, and then we can actually build another two-way road down. The issue will be here, these wind turbines. This could actually be a shopping loop here. And let's actually check the info view on the noise pollution. So it gets just to those houses. So that is going to be our final houses we build there. And then we can build the rest of them here, housing, and that's shops. It's just going to free up some of the issues. We do need to keep an eye on water and things. Make sure we go all the way to the end of the zone. Like that. And like that. Does that cover that? Not quite. So we go a little bit further. Cool. And as you can see now we've got some different buildings. The local organic produce. So that's quite cool to add that. I was going to put a road in there. But I think maybe we'll just keep footpaths. We'll keep that all separated. Let's actually look at our water consumption. Sewage treatment. We're going to need another one of them in a second. So we might as well get that in place. Oh, we can't quite get it there because of that, so we'll have to put it up here. Get that one connected across to this there. So that's connected up. Water availability is now okay. Electricity wise, we are running low, so again, we'll get another turbine over this side. Got to be careful where we put it, but there we go. And then, because we've got the money, we should probably put another one over here just to make sure we don't run out in time eight is what we need um so let's think education is all there we can't add any more education until we hit more sims let's have a quick look at our milestones so we got district specialization service policies police and fire and then the next one we're going to hit in a little bit literally we're about to hit that one right now then we'll get our leisure ready one more citizen and we're going to hit our third milestone of the series already in episode one there we go guys tiny town amazing three tiny uh, three milestones within the first episode which is absolutely brilliant we've got obviously canals we could add now I don't think we're going to build for them they didn't work out in the last episode we've got parks we've got the high school the public library plazas everything like that so let's quickly before we go off let's go to the high school we're going to need a high school around here i think we could probably get away with putting that one on the end road here or we could put it right there. Let's have a look coverage wise. That gets us right everybody, so that's perfect there. We could do a library, but again I don't think that's gonna work for us. Park wise we definitely should add parks. We know that they do really well. We'll start with our best friend the dog park. Well hang on that's we'll do this park, it's cheaper and smaller. We could probably yes look at that it'll fit there nice coverage there as well we can put one just in the center there and then I do want another one over this side of the town so maybe we see if we can fit a larger one or oh, we need to extend the road a bit more for that get a small one there that gives us a good coverage as well look at that boom so we've now as well unlocked footpaths and we know for a fact we need footpaths going across here so first thing we'll do is we'll get one that goes straight across to there this is going to enable them to walk to work um, this is quite far for them I don't think they'd walk that far for now let's keep it unpaused and then we would want to get well I want to get some footpaths between these buildings in time but I think we've built them a bit too close uh, not too close but I think they've already built in so if we did it we'd end up losing that's just a thin house that would be okay that will be absolutely fine and then we've got to look where else can we put a connection so we've got a connection we can do here and then a the connection we can do there just giving these people more options to walk around again we've got a walkway I reckon if we built no come on would it at least connect to the road no it's not going to that's a shame so we can't really do that one um, let's get in a little bit more shopping like we're going to do down here we'll use the small brush tool for that I want to do all of this here I think as shopping up to about there just to stop them worrying so much about noise pollution they might complain because these are quite close um, but I think we should get away with it there again and we can bring that to there and we can bring that down to that one go across to there and like so next time we come on we can zone out this a bit better and then think about connecting all this up more but guys episode one let's give it a pause we've got our old town and our chestnut district in this is our industry for now 
and this is our residential zoning which I think is coming along quite nicely we've got a nice little bit of lakeside coverage here for these people and they're building quite nice I do like how they're built there and it is flattening this bit out perfectly it's not over the top that's worked really well this is our local organic produce area again and this is our standard standard stuff but hopefully you've enjoyed this let's actually have a look at buying a zone already this one just gives us C this one gives us rail when do we unlock this 2400 so it might be worth waiting let's check our milestones so we do unlock another zone then so we could actually we'll, we'll wait we don't need zones but this has been episode one of series two of my city skylines let's play series this here is my new city called ct because we are at the sea if you've enjoyed it guys hit that like button if you are new please do drop a sub and a follow and i'll be back again soon with the next episode thanks for watching everybody bye bye